Hello, welcome back or welcome to DIS. I am this idiot and you're hearing me speak again or for the first time. Whichever it is, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm glad to see you here and today we are going to do some floor crafting around the Rogue Bandit. Um, if you like this one, among all others, should be the easiest to craft floor around because it's basically instead of having and it's be NPCs, they're now player characters, so they can just be from all over, you can have them be like, them trained with a group and then their group died or they stuck out on their own or something, uh, that, that deal there of them joining the group, that'll be a little, a little bit interesting. Um, because they were probably, I feel like bandits are usually like grouped together so they have uh, strength in numbers. Um, why they like stuck out on their own and why they joined a uh, party of adventurers. That's an interesting thing because it's usually probably not, a, it's probably more dangerous than just banditry. Um, because you're fighting actual monsters instead of trying to make your way being like a highwayman or a um, or a low life low end criminal or something like that. Um, let's see here how they've been trained in banditry. Also, that would be interesting. I don't know how they could do that. Um, but if they're like known as being a bandit. I don't know, I feel like that would affect their reputation and the party's reputation, the adventurer's reputation, because they're, uh, by association, they're with some more, um, illegal methods and stuff like that, um, so that's interesting, um, let's see here, yeah, that's all interesting, this is very, very short, feels like, um, which is totally fine. Uh, I woke up a little bit ago, I'm trying to wake up still, and doing this real quick, um, let's see here, I've got, uh, of course, keep in your mind my sister's D&D inspired bar idea, whenever that comes out, that'll be a little while, but still, keeping the ball rolling, um, of course, I'm still streaming Neverwinter, which is very fun, um, getting into the last area of the elemental evil, and then, um, Lego Star Wars The Clone Wars, kind of free playing or replaying the levels to get more money and stuff for Red Bricks and 100%ing everything, <coughs> which is fun. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, that and that. I am doing a bit of writing. I've got about a week before um, my school starts up again. So that'll be fun. Um, so less time devoted to this. Um, let's see here. What else? What else? What else? Um, next one, we're going into the sorcerer. And this one is called, it should be interesting, it is the radioactive soul, which is basically a product of a um, ra uh, radioactive re reactor, something usually. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry, um, but like, uh, uh, more of a science fiction, like, dealing of, like, you've got some, like, strange energies inside yourself rather than a fantasy, but you can probably make it a fantasy if you wanted to. Like, a magical eruption that does stuff, um, or it could be like more of modern fantasy, whatever. Um, that should be interesting too, a different kind of feel, vibe for a fantasy genre. Um, what else? I think that's about it. Uh, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, share if you want to. Uh, comment down below any th lore you would craft around the bandit rogue. Um, of course, previous episode, channel subscription, the like, comment, subscribe. All that fun stuff, share if you want to um, join my Discord server, um, link in the description below in case you want to figure that stuff out, or talk to me there, um, and if you have any suggestions for what I want to 
where you want me to review, go ahead and put that down there. We'll also probably start talking about like more lore crafting and deeper reviews there too. All right, I'll see you guys next time. This idiot, out.